Hey, Damian Flynn here. Um, I'm going to do a quick overview of WordPress. Um, after we go through some of the basics of WordPress, we'll go into some more detailed, you know, how to create pages, how to create posts, what the differences are, uh, and then even get into some SEO, uh, search engine optimization stuff. So, uh, real quick, what is WordPress? Uh, you know, for, to put it quickly, it's a uh, it's a web-based content management platform that's used by roughly 60 million websites. Uh, one thing that I like about WordPress is that it's regularly updated for security. Uh, also, it has a it very ease of use for adding different plugins to expand the functionality um, and easy to change the look with different themes. Now, I will caution you as far as adding anything to it. Uh, the plugin repository and the theme repository, you can download uh, a lot of free plugins, a lot of free themes, but the problems that you run into, if you don't know what you're doing with those, uh, you can run into some security issues. So if you're unsure about anything, make sure you read the reviews on it, or if you're a client of ours, you know, just feel free to you know, shoot us in a support ticket, uh, email, or, or even pick up the phone and call us, and we can usually run through a lot of that with you. Uh, real quick, we're going to log in here. Now, uh, you, you, when you first set up WordPress, if it was set up by us, you would have got an email with your login, which is going to be your domain name, you know, .com, .net, whatever, with a slash wp-admin. And you'll see this screen right here, and you're just going to log in with your uh, username and password. And the first thing that you're going to see when you do log in is your admin panel or your dashboard. Now this dashboard pretty much has everything you uh, need to get done I'm gonna go ahead and update this because I noticed that uh, this is uh, one of my client websites that I'm working on now and uh, we haven't updated so we're gonna go ahead and update that uh, a lot of times when you see these updates you want to go ahead and knock them out and simply for the fact that, that is part of the security you want to make sure that everything's up to date and we're gonna go ahead and update the plugins and Things. This usually doesn't take very long, so uh, we can do this while we're talking here. And what you'll notice is right over here on the sidebar, it shows you what needs to be updated. So when you get through this process, you know, whenever you log into the dashboard, you're going to notice right away if things need to be updated. And, uh, you know, the bigger the plugin, the bigger the theme that's installed, the longer it's going to take to update. Um, you know, it, it's all server to server, so it does go by pretty quickly. And then once you're finished, you'll see that it's, you know, all the updates have been completed. Uh, this is the plug-in part. So you notice we still have one more update. That's going to be the theme. Uh, pretty much any time you update your WordPress installation, you're going to have the plug-in and uh, theme updates as well because there's going to have to be some minor changes in those, you know, for any type of compatibility issues. Now, when you look at your, when you first log into your dashboard, you're going to see a, a brief overview of what's going on in here. Now, this is a new site, so we don't have a lot going on. Uh, you know, the recently published down here. This will show you anything that's been done recently on the blog, and you know, these are just some some sample pages and whatnot that we put together just for uh, functionality purpose. Quick drafts. Most people are not going to use this just simply for the fact that, you know, it, uh, it it's not very functional as far as what you can do with it. I mean, you can throw in a couple notes here, hit the save draft, and then go edit it, but it's just as easy to go directly to the post page to start it. So where we're going to focus most of our efforts is over here. This top bar right here, you will see it when you log in. Um, this is your admin bar. It makes it quick and easy when you're on the outside of your page. So, you know, right now, if we go and look at the main portion of the website here, we still have this admin bar, and we can go in here, edit the page that we're on. We can add a new post, you know, add some new media pages and whatnot to the blog, or usually what's easy is it's just to log into the backside. So, uh, real quick, we're going to go in through some through the menus. What you're going to see when you log in, and what each of these does. So, posts. These are going to be your blog posts. Uh, we'll go more into the differences between posts and pages in a few minutes. Uh, media. This is where all of your 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 media is handled. Your pictures, your audio. If you upload videos, I would caution you against uploading too many videos directly to your blog. I would use a service like a uh, YouTube or you know Vimeo or one of the many different video hosting sites out there. Because what happens if you've got a lot of video on your blog, you're going to use a lot of bandwidth as your uh, traffic increases on the website. 
Now this right here is specific to real estate pages. Um, I, I do a lot of real estate design for uh, for real estate agents and brokers. So unless you have this particular plugin that does this, you're not going to see this on your page. Pages, you know, we're going to go into more detail. There's a slight difference between pages and posts, and these are going to be the two main areas you're going to be working in. So uh, we'll go into the differences between those in a few minutes. Uh, forms, these are different types of forms that you can create contact forms and uh, you know you can even use, create polls and whatnot. We're not going to go into a whole lot of this um, but you can explore this a little bit but you can play with it some if you want to and add it to your page. Comments, this is more of a moderation area. Now when you click on the comments, there's, there's no comments here yet because this, is, this page is not actually live yet but what happens is on posts that you enable commenting on for it's a social atmosphere where people can come in they can create comments based on your post you can reply to them etc this is the moderation panel where you can come in and prove you can approve them you can disapprove them you can trash them you can mark them as a spam etc um, thrive is a specific plugin that i use um, that everybody that we do websites for through the WordPress panel we add this to it and, and there's a lot of different functionality in there we're not going to go into a whole lot of that um, just because it's beyond the scope of this video um, but it's basically the, the quick and dirty of it is that it's a uh, its ability to create light boxes it has some uh, back end um, some lead generation stuff and as well as some um, design elements that make the website more functional um, we don't really do a whole lot with focus areas. Uh, we're not going to mess with the opt-in appearance. This is where different things like you know you would adjust your themes. Uh, you can actually, if you've got administrative access, you can even go to the editor to go straight to the code. Now, we try to put as as few, um, you know, uh, as few permissions on every website that we do is needed by the client and, and we do deal with uh, a lot of people that don't have as much uh, computer expertise so too many options gives too many chances for uh, vulnerabilities in the site so some of the stuff that you're going to see over here is going to be dependent on you know what your access is to the dashboard um, plugins these are the installed plugins again you may not see these if you don't have administrative access user panel this is just basically shows you all the users that have access to your blog now this is going to include the administrators the editors um, all of the you know the the larger generated users but also anybody that registers um, for access with your website uh, to create comments and whatnot can also have user accounts so this is a place where you can go in and you can you can look at your users what you know get their email addresses and whatnot um, if they sign up on your blog from a business standpoint you do have the ability to contact them directly uh, but I would caution you against using that information to send unsolicited emails to them because a lot of times people are just going on here to comment um, maybe create some type of dialogue but don't necessarily want to get uh, you know uh, emails sent to them for any particular reason other than maybe to let them know a new comment was posted uh, some various tools um, and there you can go to the available tools we're not going to go into that in this and uh, we are going to go a little bit into the settings in this uh, particular video so what we're going to start right now is we're going to go directly to the post um, now, now the difference between pages and posts um, pages for instance which is this one here now these are generally used for things like your about us page um, you know services offered contact uh, in, in various different um, pages that are not going to change a whole lot now pages are more hierarchical in nature to where posts are categorized so if you just think about pages as typically what you would see on the top of a website or on the very bottom in the footer of a website these are things that you want p people to have really easy access to on every page and posts are more category in nature think of these more of a time-based solution uh, like a news article so these are going to be more social in nature uh, they, you're going to want to allow commenting in most cases uh, where you probably don't want people commenting on your about us page 
So that's a quick overview of uh, you know of kind of what the difference is between um, posts and pages, how to log in, um, and some you know the, the basics of the dashboard menu. Now in the next video we're going to be showing you how to edit uh, and create menus, pages, and posts. So join us there. Thanks.